The views and opinions presented by the host, guests, or callers on this program do not necessarily represent the positions of WMBS Radio. on your mind right here on WMBS Uniontown. We are being brought to you in part by Rock Bottom Motors and some other fine folks you're going to hear from throughout the show. 724-438-4593 or 1-866-590-9627. Those are the numbers to call. We are not going to take calls right away. We are going to take them in about 15 minutes or so. Um, I have some very sad news to report, and in the studio with me is Tim Schwer, and I asked Tim to come in to, to report this with me because we both worked with this gentleman both on my show and on his own show, John Scovern, who you all know from either calling into my show or from the Good News Review. Unfortunately, last Wednesday, we believe it was, passed away. Uh, so we feel that we owe John a small tribute because John was always great to us. Don't you agree, Tim? Absolutely. The guy had a, had a heart as big as a house. And he was, uh, you know, he was an always a positive influence. Uh, you couldn't get him down, no matter what happened. He was always upbeat. Very true. He uh, he loved his his goat and his donkey and and one of the ducks or chickens or yeah, his dog. Horse. <laughs> and uh, I I can't get over the shock of it. Uh, it's it's really hit me hard. Uh, that John's not with us anymore, you know? Well, and, and I, I let you in on a secret that a lot of people didn't know. John had once emailed me and said, I call you sometimes twice in a show because I hear you rambling and I know that you're struggling for calls. So that showed me that he is a true friend because only true friends will bail you out <laughs> and you you've sat on this side of the microphone oh, oh yeah <laughs> only true friends will bail you out when it comes to you just rambling and trying to think of something to talk about you know and that was what john was i i've known john and, and it was funny because i didn't realize how long i've known him until mm. this but i knew him when i worked at the mall back in the 80s wow and he used to walk around the mall exercising mm -hmm. and he had a pin on that said I lost, and I, at the time I want to say 150 pounds, I don't remember exactly, but when I first got on the air with him, we started talking, and he goes, well, you probably don't know me, I'm John Scovern, and I lost weight, and I said, you're the guy that used to walk in the Uniontown Mall, and he's like, <laughs> how do you know that? I'm like, I used to work in the mall, and I sold him some clothes back in the day, and mm -hmm. and, and it's it's a very, I, I when I found out, because the way we found out was very sad, because yeah. he was supposed to be on the air with you last Wednesday. Right. Mm -hmm. and didn't show up we tried calling the station called doreen called didn't hear anything then thursday we tried again still didn't hear anything so we called his friend sam and sam uh went up and checked his house and john wasn't answering the doors and he called his uncle because sam couldn't get in the uncle couldn't get in so they called the authorities and the authorities did find john and i found out yesterday i got a call from nora who was on the air with him mm -hmm. here on the show that he died of a his heart exploded died of a heart attack so you you said something in the beginning of the show that really kind of like punched me a little bit because you said he had a he had a big heart and he did yeah. he had a large heart and and to hear that it it he died from the heart attack just really shakes me to the bone mm -hmm. you know and, and i i don't know how other than and and we talked about this last week because we all sat around we we couldn't say anything because we didn't know if the, his family knew or anything well Everyone knows now we are, we are okay to announce it, but we sat around and we said what we need to do is do something special for John. So what we're going to do for the next five minutes, Tim, a little more than five minutes, is we're going to play some clips from John Scovern's show because I think that would be appropriate. I think everybody would enjoy it because I know when John called me, I always enjoyed it. I always, I always put a smile back on my face when you know you're sitting here and you're trying to, t trying to find something to say to people to get them to call. 
and he would always put that smile back on my face. And I think you feel the same way. Absolutely. All right, let's take, let's play this, and we'll be, we're going to listen to John now. Okay. And now a few clips of John Scovern from his show, The Good News Review, and also a couple of clips of him on What's On Your Mind. John Scovern passed away last week. Listen, folks, how are you out there in Red Didio land, huh? And now listen, if, you, if you're tuning into this station to hear about bad stuff and talk about bad stuff, the insurance and the politicians and layoffs and jobs closings and car payments, illegal drugs, and I mean, look, you know, People wonder why they're depressed. That's all they listen to on all the different news. And we're here to talk about good things, things that where you can feel better, lose some weight, gain some weight if you need to, uh, where your doctor takes you off a little bit of the meds that you're on when you start to feel better, because that does happen as your body starts to heal itself when you take good nutrition. Your doctor will take you off of some of the meds. The company that I work with, the food of the future and the brand that I use, if you don't like the product, if you don't think it works for you, if you're just too lazy to use it, we'll give you your money back. Now, I don't think you can go to the grocery store and buy something and say, I don't like this. I don't, not too many. I'm going to give you your money back. You know, so you got to be able to do some of the uh, things that are benefit you. The call on the line. Let's see who we got. Hello, you're on with Mark. That might be me. That is you, John. What's going on? Well, it's kind of chilly today, huh? Yeah, and it looks like it's going to get colder, too. Yeah, well, listen, it's almost winter. Last year, we had snow already this time. Did yeah, you we remember? did. That's right. Yeah, what was it, thank you? Or, uh, Halloween. Was, Halloween, yeah. Mm. This yeah, was just last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Monday. So what else is new well, besides the weather, huh? Veterans Day is a pretty good day. They're talking two inches tonight. Well, that's nothing. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, it does get wild sometimes with the with the different tendencies people have, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I never could understand. I Actually, I enjoy the winter weather, the snow and stuff when I was driving, because there wasn't that many people on the road then. As a matter of fact, I swear to you, and the reason I say this, just up above my house, a tree fell down here recently from a windstorm, mm -hmm. and right over this thing, it there was. There was this ash pile. <laughs> Everything was grown over, you know. And that brought back a lot of memories there when I saw that. And uh, it's crazy. I used to, right here where I live, I'd start up on top of the hill. It's, it's like you start on top of the hill, and you can come all the way down, and you go, I mean, it's a long way, almost a complete mile of riding, as long as you didn't slide off the road. And then down at the bottom of the hill, what we would do is we'd cut across the creek and straight up the hill, and we'd be back on top a short distance, you know. It was it was really kind of neat. We did You did a couple of them runs a day, you was pretty tired. But I, I used to have so much fun doing that. So do kids know how to sled ride now? Yeah, they still do it. They, do they? Yeah, it's more tubing than sled riding, though. Well... I would think too, Mayor. I would think anything outside is a little bit difficult for them away from them computers. Well, there's some kids that really would rather not be in front of the computer or playing on their phone the whole time. So You think there are? Yeah. I'd like to think there were. I really would. I'm hoping that there's some young people out there that are out there looking around and uh, what, what's the word, They're going on adventures in the woods and different things like that. But you almost can't do that anymore people get scared of when they go you know people get frightened of people out there you know i don't know what's going on you know hello you're on mark that be me sir this is you john how are you this lovely chilly cold day huh i'm nice and warm are you i carry my own fur vest with me oh do you oh <laughs> i guess you would yeah yeah, I forgot uh, of, of, of your nationality. Yeah, you, you ought to be nice and warm. Do you, do you braid it, too? No, I trim it now. Oh, you trim it around the collar, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> oh, I know that. I had friends like that. But see, we think it's going to freeze and die. Maybe they brought it in from another planet where it's used to being cold. Yeah, or, or it's, it's like the food we eat. It's all genetics now. <laughs> it doesn't hurt it. It won't hurt you. It can't freeze it. <laughs> Mark, you're something else, buddy. Wow, I can't believe I went there. I, I, I believe it. Especially I believe with it. the man of the food of the future. Well, yeah, see, yeah. See, now there's a plug for you, see? Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate the plug. And, you know, and, and but, you know, that's why 
I work yet? You know, there's a lot of people that if they hurt themselves like I did and been in a wheelchair, they'd have said, that's it. They ain't doing nothing else. All this free stuff starts coming in. It gets pretty easy, you know. What else you got for me? Well, I ain't got nothing else for you. All right, I got to take another call. All right, good enough. Have a nice day. Bye. Thanks, John. You too. And uh, thank you so much, Mike. It was very kind of you. you had, it was nice talking to you, sir. And thank you, John, and we appreciate your support of WMBS over the years, and it's been great having you as a part of our family at your local station. Mark, I know you had a chance to talk with him many times on what's on your mind. Always an eloquent personality, and you really never knew with John what you were going to be talking about that day. That kind of kept you on your toes. And I know a guy like John Scover, and I had a lot of people around here who had a chance to hear him on a daily basis through your talk show. And most undoubtedly will be missed around the area. Again, John Scoverin passing away, and I'll send things back to Mark now in the studio. Even Sackley got me choked up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was that. It was neat. It was. You know, and I'll tell you what I'm going to miss. I think the most is that'd be me now. He <laughs> always he always said that'd be me now. That'd uh -huh. be me, sir. That'd be me, sir. And he always said that with that thunderous voice <laughs> and, and it always hit me and and i didn't realize it till i just heard it there a couple of times sure yeah john was uh he was an extraordinary guy he absolutely loved fayette county mm -hmm. uh he promoted local business particularly the uh the fact bus uh, they took care of him yeah. and he acknowledged he always acknowledged everyone yeah. Whoever did anything for him, right. you know, as little as the guy that either gave him a ride into town or the mm. guy that helped him fix a fence or something, he always made a point to acknowledge him and thank them on the air a lot of times. Too. Sure. So, mm. I know I'm going to miss him, Tim. I know you're going to. I hope you're. I, I hope I know you're going to miss him. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, uh, he's been on my mind ever since we found out. Yeah, and and it was hard here not being able to say anything since last weekend, right. since Friday of last week when we all really knew. Or Thursday, actually, we knew. So sure. It was really hard not to say anything. And all I have to say is, John, Godspeed, and I know you're listening to us. Now I know WMBS has at least two listeners in heaven. My mother and John Scoverin. And John Scoverin. You bet. Thanks, Tim. Thanks you for bet. coming in, buddy. You're most welcome, Mark. And, uh, John, we, we are thinking of you. Our prayers. Exactly. Thanks, Tim. Hey, Tim, one other thing. If anybody's out there that's on Facebook or on uh, YouTube or on the Internet, go on YouTube and type in John Scoverin's name. The, he put two videos up last week before he passed of his work when he was working up in the uh, Alaska, on the Alaskan pipeline. Mm -hmm. Very, very great, touching videos of just guys working on the pipeline. So it's a nice video to see. There's two different ones. One's 28 minutes, the other one is like six minutes long. Wow. Yeah, he, he mentioned that on your show. I heard yeah. him uh, saying that he had a, a, a whole bunch of boxes of, of film that he was having converted to CD. Yeah. So that uh, he could, he could uh, and he, he was amazed himself at the beauty of Alaska. Oh, and, and when you see it, you'll be amazed at it too. So, And if anybody wants to know about the food of the future with John, if you're, if you're one of John's clients or you are looking to get into the food of the future, uh, Nora that came on the air with him, you can contact her at 724-880-8671. She lives at, or her, her home address, you can also mail her, is 261 Second Street, Allison, PA, one five four one three again this was a memorial to john scovern we're going to take a commercial break when we come back we will be taking calls at seven two four four three eight four five nine three john godspeed to you buddy you're listening to what's on your mind right here on wmbs uniontown well uh, you know in, in, during the break tim and i were talking and i said yeah, Tim, it's going to be real easy now coming back on after the little tribute to John. Uh, I, I need to thank Mike Sackley for pulling the great great clips of John. Uh, we have tons and tons of those clips, and for him to go through them and find that, I appreciate it. Thank you again, Mike. Thanks, Tim, for coming in, and once again, thanks, John, for being the friend that you are. Let's go take a call. Hello, you're on with Mark. Hello, you're on Mark. Hey, Mark, Terry Ryan, how you doing? Good, Terry. Hang on one second, I have a problem here. Let me figure this yeah. out. Give me a second. All right. Okay. Now let's try it, Terry. <laughs> 
I thought you was going to hang up on me yeah, again. <laughs> so did I, but I don't let you call back, Terry. I know. Uh, uh, first of all, I think that tribute you paid was great. Thanks. I really um, appreciated that. I'm sure the listeners did, too. You know, uh, Luz and John, uh, generally I don't get too emotional. But, um, you know, he was a friend. Um, he and I became pretty good friends. He'd call me a couple times a week. And the last time I um, went to a meeting last week, I went and picked him up. Um, I took him with me uh, to the meeting, and he enjoyed himself. And um, um, I always found him to be a little different, but full of life. And um, that's one thing I liked about John. He um, was a pretty smart man, too. And, you know, running for the school board, he, always, um, he was always in my corner. I know the day he went and voted that, uh, a couple of weeks ago, the first thing he did when he came home, he called me up and said, I went and I just voted for you, Terry, because I think you're the best man. And I really did appreciate that, John, um, standing in the corner with me, and um, uh, you'll never be forgotten. But, Mark, uh, getting to a lighter point, um, you know, do you remember the time that uh, you first came on the station and John called me up and he and I was both on the telephone at the same time? I do remember that. And uh, you... Um, I guess uh, <laughs> was trying to figure out what in the world was happening. John was talking to me, and I was talking to him. We did that purposely, and you were sitting there trying to figure out what was going on. Yeah, I do remember you guys pulling some pranks on me. That was sort of um, a, 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 a little trick. Yeah. Anyways, I'm losing you. I'm not sure why. I, I can either. barely hear you. So listen, I'll hang out. Maybe someone else can call in. But folks, just please remember... None of us are guaranteed another minute. That's so live true. the best that you can. Treat people good and uh, treat people the way you want to be treated. Um, and um, like I said, um, our days are numbered as it has in the Bible. So please remember that. So live the every day to the fullest. And with that, have a great day. Thanks, Terry. And I think John lived every day to the fullest, don't he you? He did. Agree? He lived the fullest, didn't he? Yes, he did. And I just hope. I, one thing, when I first heard about that, uh, about John, I was just hoping that someone would come there and get his donkey and dog and little pony and give him a good home because he really loved those animals. Yes, I'm did. an animal lover, too, and I just hope that they have a good home and uh, they're taken care of. I agree with you. I hope so, too. All right. Well, people, listen. Again, live the fullest, live each day, and treat people the way that you want to be treated. And with that, have a great day. Thanks, Terry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, you're on with Mark. Who are we talking to? Hi, Mark. Hey, Jimmy. What's going on, buddy? Oh, uh, it was a sad day. It's gloomy and it's overcast. And it's a sad day. That I didn't find. No doubt, he passed away till now. Yeah. Well, we weren't allowed to say anything until his family was notified. Yeah. And, and once we got the word, we wanted to get it out there because we felt that, as I said earlier, John is a true friend of the of the show and a true friend of the uh, of me of mine. Oh, he called me a couple times, and I called him a couple times when he was in the hospital. He was a nice guy. Yep. He's, where did they lay him the rest at? I don't believe there's going to be a service. I just believe they're going to be burying him in the uh, county's um, cemetery. Out like in a field somewhere in a pasture? He'd like to be out in the field. Uh, it, it, is a, it is a pastured area. It is a field area. It's, it, the county owns the, 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 the cemetery, yes. Oh, that's, that's good. That's not good, but you know what I mean. Right, exactly. He'll be at rest, though. So, my friend died, too, the one I had here from jail, and I took care of him, and he moved on, and he, they found him dead from a heroin overdose. Oh, hate to hear that, too. But you know what? When I was in nursing school for LPN, they would tell me that it's just life's a cycle, and when somebody dies, there's another one born. Right. So somebody come in the world when John died, there was somebody else come to the world. I I hope you're right. Well, yeah, he's with I would say he's with Jesus. Right, exactly. That's what I said, and I hope he's he's listening to us. And you know, it's crazy because I'm sitting in the studio right now, and it was an overcast day, and the clouds just opened up, and the sun is shining in the studio. Well, that's nice. So. Well, you know, as a man, you're not allowed to be sad or grieve, and that's, mm. that's not true. You, you have to be allowed to, just because you're a man, you're masculine, that doesn't mean you're not allowed to cry. I don't have a problem crying, and I don't have a problem. Well, you know, you know, years ago, they would teach, teach the kids that if you cry, that's a, a sign of weakness, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, but I think we all are past that in our lives, you know. Yeah, so, I don't know what else to tell you. I'll, I'll call you tomorrow with some politics, 
because John wants you to con continue on with the, with the daily grind. I agree with you, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Thanks, buddy. Hello, you're on with Mark. Hello, Mark. It's Mark. Hey, Mark. How you doing, buddy? Hey, I just tuned in and caught the tail in there. Uh, gee, what a, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, what a what a terrible, terrible thing. But yes. as Jimmy said, it's life. But uh, right. still, it's a shock. You know what I mean? It's geez. Last time I heard him on the radio, he was laughing and joking and. No John, you know what I'm saying? Well, that, that's that's how I was, you know. We talked on Monday and Tuesday and then Wednesday he was supposed to be he was supposed to come on and a lot of times he didn't come in the studio, he would just call in. And right, right. I got a call from Brian, I got a text from Brian, Hey, have you heard from John? He is he's not in and I tried calling his house and there was no answer and Doreen had already done that and there was no answer, so um we figured, well, maybe he just because when he when he fell the last time, we right, didn't hear right. from him for a couple of days, and we thought, well, maybe he's in the hospital or something, and we'll hear from him. And then when we called him the next day, and then we called his friends, and just a sad day. Yeah, and and like you said, he I don't know about children, you know, a little bit. He does have them animals, you know, and right. maybe the friends of the animal people can do something. Yeah, but uh, I just tuned that in. And I'm like, oh, geez, you know, it just seems like. Every day, I know we're getting older, but you just hear more and more people you know passing away. It's just depressing sometimes, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he was looking forward. He was. We were on the air a couple week, about a week ago, talking, and he was on. He was looking forward. He said, "I'll be sixty five soon, and I'll be able to get my uh, Social Security, and I'll be able to get my, um, I'll be able to get health care from the government." He was really looking forward to, yeah. you know. And we talked on Monday, and actually talked about him walking again real soon. I know that. Uh, you know, by the way he talked, he was a hard worker all his life. He yeah. worked in the, uh, heavy construction fields, powder plants, gas lines, things like that. That's not an easy way to make a living. In no, Yale, not at all. You know what I mean? But right. uh, hey, anyway, that's all I had to say. Uh, I'm sorry to that. If his, I don't know if he has any family, but if he does, uh, my prayers will be. Um, tonight. He has well, his so. uncle and his aunt, and I believe his uh, his buddy Sam too. So okay, well then, you know, like I said, I'll put them in a prayer for them uh thank you very much anyway uh yeah have a good one uh you too mark if it's that's hard to say yeah, bye. i'll talk to you tomorrow thanks bye, bye hello you're on with mark hello hi there hello who are we talking to uh this is ron in east tennessee ron. i appreciate uh what you folks did for john thank you and we now who are you again you're ron Ron, yes. I, I used to call in on his show and talk with him. Okay. I worked with uh, Food of the Future also. Okay. And uh, never met him, but I'll tell you, he, he had a big heart. He did have a big heart, and we, you know, and I'll tell you, it's the, the day is very emotional for me. I, I didn't think I would be as emotional as I am, you know, because of the fact that we were just acquaintances and friends. But I really didn't realize how emotional it would be until. Uh, talking to people now, and it, it really saddens me to, to know that he's gone. Well, he, he's with God, and God is good, because uh, I sent him an email last week, and I called. I thought I was calling his number today, and the lady said he had passed away, so God directed me to your station so I could get on the call. Yep. And I sure appreciate the people in that area that think a lot about John, because he was a, a great person from what I know, and uh, he's going to be missed. I, I agree with you, Ron, and I'm glad that, that we've met and we've touched because that just goes to show you that one one door closes and, and more open up for you. It does. And uh, I'll call back and talk to the lady at the station. I've got a couple of questions. So okay. I don't know if they're doing any uh, donations or anything for John or charities or whatever, but they are a few uh, announced that I'd appreciate it. I will definitely announce if we hear anything, but as of right now, I don't know for sure. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. I'm sorry I got emotional. Oh, trust me, I feel you, John. We're on. Thank you. Hello, you're on with Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Patty. Um. You all right? Okay. Um. Yeah, I feel so bad about John too. Uh, mm -hmm. Sam was good enough to call me last week and tell me, and uh, I think Sam may have taken the dog. I think, and maybe the cat. And then someone else was going to take the other animals, I'm pretty sure, and they would take care of them. But, um, yeah, I'm glad I had the opportunity to 
meet John a few times, and he was a good man, that's for sure. Right. And um, he loved life. And I remember him calling in on Tuesday. We were talking on the show about the State Theater, remember? Yeah. And he called in about that, and, you know, it was so nice to hear him. And then I couldn't believe, you know, he's gone, you know. Well, that's... And uh, do you remember when he needed a name for his donkey? He kept saying he needed... A name, and then I called in and I said, "How about Pokey?" And he, because he kept saying that Pokey was slow. Or yeah, he was slow. The donkey was slow. That's right. I do remember that. Yeah. So, but yeah, we we all loved him, and God will take care of him. Oh, most definitely, and I'm yeah, sure he's you know, in a good place. Like I said, he's up there looking down on us. Going, you know, yeah, he's just, you know, he's just we'll never that him. thunderous laugh of his. That's right. That's right. Well, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Patty. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello, you're on with Mark. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Good, how are you? Is this okay, this is uh, Joe. Joe. Sorry to hear about John. Yep. But uh, he's in a better place now, and uh, I, I, got a, I got a joke to tell you, and, and Mark would, uh, and John would appreciate this, okay? Okay. Um, John, and, uh, John and Mark were on a baseball team, okay? Okay. Mark was the pitcher, and John was the catcher. So, John... John had a got a terminal illness and he passed. He was passing away, and uh, Mark and uh, he was on in the hospital. And Mark went to see him, and and Mark said to John, he says, John, he says, uh, do me a favor when you get to heaven. He said, you got to get back to me and let me know if they have a baseball team, okay? So, so he passed away, and a couple of weeks later, some way somehow, he got back to Mark. He said, Mark, he said, I got good news and bad news for you. He says, the good news is they have a baseball team up here in heaven, but the bad news is you're scheduled to pitch Friday. <laughs> John would appreciate it. John that. would have loved that joke. <laughs> <laughs> and, Joe, thank you because you, li- you you lightened the mood just a little bit and you did what John would have done. And that's, and that's what I said whenever I was talking to Tim. You know, John always knew the right time to call and either do something like that, make a, tell a joke like that, or... To know just to call and, and talk to me because he knew I was I was struggling for calls. Right, and, and uh, I know he he he, he would have appreciated that. Yeah, he, he definitely would have, and I, I I'm I'm glad you called that in, and I'm glad you said that joke because I know he would have enjoyed that. <laughs> okay, take care. All right, thank you very much, Joe. Bye bye. You're listening to What's on Your Mind right here on WMBS Uniontown seven two four four three eight four five nine three or one eight six six. Five nine zero nine six two seven. Those are numbers to call. If you want to get in on the conversation today, you're more than welcome to pick up that phone and do so. We are being. We're going to take another quick commercial break, and we come back more of what's on your mind. We are being brought to you in part by Rock Bottom Motors and these fine folks. You're listening to What's on Your Mind right here on WMBS Uniontown seven two four four three eight four five nine three. Or one eight six six five nine zero nine six two seven are the numbers to call. We got about seven minutes left. There's one call on the line. Let's see who we got. Hello, you're on, Mark. Hi, this is Jane. Hi, Jane. I just happened to come in the room and I hear the radio's on and you're talking about John. When did he pass away? He passed away last Wednesday, we believe it was either Tuesday night or Wednesday. They found his. Uh, they found him at his home on Thursday after Thursday morning. Uh, what did he pass away from there, you said? They believe he died of a heart attack. Oh, okay. He was in his bed. He was, you know, he, w- he was in his bed. So they believe he just passed away in his sleep. Uh-huh. Oh, that's sorry to hear that. Mm-hmm. And then, that's why I just walked in, and I, the radio's on, and I heard you always talking about him and until the, then uh, he said about uh, being in heaven, you know, and I yes. thought, oh, yeah, we, when did, what happened, you know? Yeah, we found out last week. We had to wait until his all, you know, his family was notified before we could really say anything. Oh, okay. Well, well, thanks a lot. Okay. Okay, bye. Thanks, Jane. Bye-bye. Bye. What's on your mind right here on WMBS Uniontown? Um, what a strange day this is, you know, with uh, with the with the announcement that we made and the fur in the uh, at two, right at two uh, at two o'clock two fifteen. Um, just really, I mean, it's you know, folks. Normally, I don't. I don't, I always have something to talk about, but today I'm just, um, and Tim even <laughs> he said it to me when he walked out of the studio, and I didn't realize how true it was, but Tim, you were exactly right. It's not an easy show to do after you hear of um, 
after you present what what I what we presented about John Scover. And so, with that being said, well, we have a call coming in right now, and we have just barely 30 seconds left. So let's take this call if we can get it in there. If uh, maybe not, maybe. Oh, let's grab them real quick. Hello, you have about 10 seconds. Hi. You have about 10 seconds. Okay. Um, you have you about know, seven you know, seconds. You don't know how much you miss somebody till they're gone. Right. God bless John. God bless everybody. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. You're listening to What's on Your Mind right here on WMBS Uniontown.